What's up, everybody? Richard back today with another reaction video. Today, we're checking out the band Miscreant and their track Escape the Night. This was sent over to me, and I actually, I like this, uh, like, when we got, when I got some, like, background info, and I kind of want to talk about that briefly before we head into the track, and it says, Escape the Night explores themes of love and the dangers of one-sided passion. In the words of Simon Sinek, uh, love is giving someone the power to destroy you and trusting they won't use it. That's pretty, that's, that's very, uh... Very insightful. I, I, that, that's a really, wow. And it says, born from major influences from the likes of Slipknot, Bring Me the Horizon, and Sleep Token, Miscreant, create a strong message for the UK music scene by combining intense atmospherics with raw emotion. So we're getting a lot of, um, I, I don't know what kind of, I wonder what kind of raw we're going to get here. You know, because Sleep Token and Slipknot raw are totally different things. And I hope that we kind of get a mix of that. I think that would be very cool to kind of have some very heavy parts and that, but anyway, I'll stop talking. Let's just let's just go check it out. Merch, uh, playlist, all those links are down below. Let's go. Okay, Adidas, my man, my man. Already loving the video. Someone else, perhaps 
All right. Oh, let's, let's get a Loki film. Let's give let's give Loki some credit here. Look at that. What a video by Loki. Yeah, man. Okay, so that was Miscreant Escape the Night. So this is the first time I've ever heard of the band, right? And um, man, what an introduction. Um, I definitely think that the the influence is around point because anytime you see Slipknot and Sleep Token, you're like, oh, okay. Um, but I really think that they display that in this track. Of course, kind of more towards that sleep token, kind of low, the deftones-y kind of side, especially because of the subject matter. But especially towards the end of the track, we really saw that Slipknot kind of influence come through. Um, and what's really, what it really, like, you know, like what I really grasp onto here is the range that this band showed in this one track. Like the transitions were not like, like too abrupt or anything like that. They kind of left it. They, they had like a line hit that last word and then boom, it kind of right went into it. Like it was, there was like a small gap in between. Uh, but I, I just think that the transitions were super well done and I love the kind of unhinged nature um, of the end of the track uh, as like, you know, juxtaposed to the beginning where it was super chill. Um, I think that that right there is some really interesting songwriting, especially with the subject matter of, um, you know, kind of also displaying the emotions of the subject matter as well of, you know, kind of like um, melancholic and sadness and also maybe some anger as well. So a lot of range put on by this band here. Um, this is a track that I'll definitely be revisiting. I was very intrigued by this. Now, it's not like, you know, it's not like a car. It's, it's probably not necessarily a, such a track that I'm going to put on in the car and uh, zoom down the road with. Maybe, though. I'm going to try. Later today, I'm going to be in the car. I'm going to try. But, uh, yeah, this was very cool. Um, I love the range, and I look forward to more from Miscreant for sure. But anyways, guys, if you're going to check out my Patreon, social media, playlist, um, merch, all that stuff. All those links are down below, as well as the link to this phenomenal video. So until the next one, peace.